Before you start animating, the startup menu is what you'll see when you first launch the program. If you just want to draw for fun, you can enter a scene name like test and click create scene and skip ahead to the next section. But if your eventual goal is to make real projects, it's good to know what we're looking at here. <clears throat> All right, the startup menu can look like a lot at first, so let's break it into three sections. Choose project determines where files will be saved. Create a new scene has settings for the actual file we'll be working in and open scene will give easy access to recently saved work once we actually have some. Looking at choose project, it's currently set to sandbox, so let's see what that means. If we go back to our open tune stuff folder, there's a subfolder called sandbox, and this is where our work today will be saved. Once we get to something more serious, we can put it in the projects folder, but for today's test, sandbox is fine. Under create a new scene, the three main items to look at are scene name, resolution, and frame rate. If you're curious about the rest, you can check the video description for more details. Uh, the scene name is what our file will be called, and we'll enter that in just a bit. Resolution will be the pixel dimensions for our scene, and 1920 by 1080 is fine. Finally, frame rate should be 24 frames per second. That's film standard, and it's what we'll work in for the demos. Once you've got all that confirmed, enter the scene name as test v1 and click create scene to get started. So all of that was just a long-winded way of saying right now you don't need to change anything, but in the future you might, and now you know what it all means. So next up, let's talk about the interface. I hope you find these videos helpful, and if so, subscribe for more tutorials and check out thundercluck.com, especially if you have any young readers or fans of animation in your life. Thanks for watching.